Hello, welcome back to Storytime at Nana's House. So very good to have you here once again. Book I want to start reading and sharing with you it is 365 Bible Stories and Prayers. And I am going to be reading this book with permission from Cottage Door Press. So I'm going to read two stories at a time because they're very short, but still very good nonetheless. Here we go. God Makes the World. Long, long ago, the world was dark and empty. There was no sea or land, no rivers or mountains, no forests or deserts. There was nothing at all until God went to work. Let there be light, he said, and the world was filled with light. Next, God created the seas, and in between them he made dry land. Then he covered the land with trees and plants. Overhead, God placed a warm sun to shine by day and a silvery moon to shine by night. He scattered billions of twinkling stars in the sky, and so the heavens were created. But nothing lived in the world. So God filled the seas with shimmering fish. He added creeping crabs, sly sharks, and huge wallowing whales, too. Above the land, God made birds that soar and swoop, dip and loop. Beautiful butterflies, busy bees, and bustling bats filled the air. Then God created animals of every kind to live on the land. He was pleased with his work. Last of all, God created the first man and woman to care for the amazing creatures he had made. I shall call you Adam and Eve. When God had finished, he looked at this work, at his work, and smiled. It had taken him six days to complete this wonderful new world, and so on the seventh day, God rested. Adam and Eve loved the home God had given them. It was the most beautiful place you could imagine, full of sweet-smelling plants and flowers. Sparkling streams bubbled up from the ground, and every tree was covered with delicious fruit. It took a long time for Adam and Eve to give every animal a name, but whatever Adam called it, that's the name that stuck. Anteater, antelope, baboon, bat, bear, camel, cat, deer, dove, and donkey, gecko, gorilla, hare. <gasps> but they didn't mind. God had given them everything that they needed. And that's the end for now. Tomorrow we'll pick up with the first sin. Ooh, don't want to miss that one. Oh my goodness. It is time for me to go, but before I do, I just want to encourage you to continue letting your light shine by being kind. Until next time, take care of yourselves. God bless you. And remember that this Nana right here loves you. Take care.